Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I am going to cover the microservices crash course. So in this course, we will be developing couple of microservices. We will see how the microservices internal communication is done. We will also see how we can register those microservices to the Eureka client. And we will also see how we can call these microservices through the API gateway. So we will we'll implement everything here in this course. So uh, coming to the requirement, uh, we are going to use IntelliJ as an IDE. We are going to use couple of databases, which is Postgre and the MySQL. Okay, so let me uh, go to the next slide and brief you about the basic difference between the microservices and the monolithic approach. So let me go to the next slide. So I have listed out key points on which we can differentiate both of the architectures. So let me go for the basic one. So monolithic architecture is built as on large system and is usually one code base. So when we are going to develop the monolithic architecture, then it is a whole project is developed in a large system and it is usually a one code base. Okay, so let's say uh, we are going to develop a banking application which is having multiple modules, but we developed the whole application in a single project, then that architecture is called as a monolithic architecture. There is only one single database which is used by this architecture. Okay, so this type of a single handedly development of the project is called monolithic approach. Coming to the microservices approach, if there is a, a monolithic project, then we can uh, chop down those project in a small services and those small services are independent modules and they can be communicative with each other also. So this type of developing the project is called as microservice architecture. So microservice architecture is built as a small independent module based upon the business functionality. Coming to the scalability, it is uh, for the monolithic, it is not easy to scale based upon the demand, but it is easy to scale based upon the demand for the microservice architecture. Coming to the database, it has shared database because only one database is there. So every modules inside the same project is sharing the database. But for the microservice architecture, we can have multiple database for multiple modules. Let's say in this project, I will be using two databases. One is PostgreSQL, another is MySQL. So we can have multiple uh, database we can use for multiple modules that we are going to develop. Coming to the key point develop, deployment, large code base makes ID slow and build time gets increases. So whenever a project is very large in volume, very large in code, then it will slow down the whole IDE. So the development process is also slowed. But this is not the case for the microservice architecture because they are small in the size. So overall development time is uh, very much decreased and it is very efficient. Okay, so coming to the fifth point, uh, which is tightly coupled and loosely coupled. So monolithic architecture is tightly coupled and it does not allow us to introduce new technologies, but this is not the case for the microservice architecture because it is loosely coupled. We can involve different type of technology stacks here. So coming to the next slide. Microservices, I will brief you about uh, something about the microservices. So it is a large application that are divided into the small parts. Okay, let's say I am going to develop three microservices, student service, library service and the book service. So book service is called by the library service and library service is ultimately called by the student service. So a uh, library can have multiple books, a student can register with one library. Okay, so let me go next. So this is about the communication between them and coming to the next uh, point, for the microservices, it is it is having the different code base. Okay, each modules managed independently. That is all what we discussed. And 
different tech stack so different tech stack means uh, one microservice we can develop using the spring boot and mysql another we can use spring boot and uh, let's say postgresql third one we can use as a python and django so we can use multiple stack it are independent and there is a mechanism by which we can directly call each services into the another one coming to one drawback of the microservices handling microservices is little complex because they are large in number and it take much time to do their deployment and scaling so that is the one disadvantage of it coming to the next slide what the steps i am going to follow to uh, develop this course so we have uh, all the steps listed out here so i am going to create these three uh, microservices that is a student okay and the two services are books and library here it is wrongly written okay i am going to uh, create one eureka server okay and i will register all the services to the eureka server and then i will create a api gateway and i will register it to the eureka server and then i will call uh, this book and library service inside the student service through the rest template and will call all the services through the api gateway so this is about the step that we are going to follow and let me go to the next slide service registry so how we will register these services to the eureka server that i am going to explain so let's say we have the student service library service and the book service and each of them is up on support like student is up on 9091 library on 9092 and book service is on 9093 and they all are registered to one service which is uh, registry service and this is eureka server which is up on 8761 which is the default port for the eureka server so we can track the information of each of the services which are registered to the eureka server uh, to this eureka server page so i will show you how you can uh, track those things and with the help of the name of each services we can directly call one service into the another service so i will show you each of the things there coming to the next slide is a api gateway development so let's say i have a student service which is using the database db1 i have the library service which is using the database db2 and i have the third service which is book service which is using the database db3 and which each of uh, like book service is called by the library service and library service is called by the student service and we have developed one api gateway service and with the help of api gateway service the client directly call each of the services okay so i will show you those scenarios here okay let me go okay this is about uh, the whole uh, flow of the project that we are going to develop okay so let me go to the intellij and then from there i will show you how you can start our development so so let uh, let this video till here only in the next video i will uh, go to the development okay so if you like this video then please hit the like and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel for such content